Hey up and welcome to Callum's Corner. Right, I'm very cross and I'm sorry to be ranting, but I need to get it off my chest. I've been into work today and I'm a care assistant, right? I work out in the community, but every Monday I've got to go in and get my timesheet signed off at head office. So I've gone in, I'm queuing up with everyone else to get it done, and I have this sense of impending doom come upon me. I look up and sure enough, it's my fat wench of a manager waddling her way over. She's taking a break from eating gangsters to come and confront me, right? And that's what she does, moaning about my appearance again, about the fact that I'm not clean shaven. I explained to her, I did it for you last week. That's the first time I've clean shaven in about two years, right? And it left me with red blotches all over my skin and then dry skin a couple of days later. It's a medical issue. And she bats it straight back at me and says, it's not a medical issue, Callum. It's a hygiene issue. There's people standing around me and it, she's making out that I'm a dirty birdie, like I'm an infectious disease or something. It's a millimetre of stubble. How is it a hygiene issue? What the hell does she think I'm doing? Going in and unwrapping patients' bandages and rubbing my stubble upon their gaping wounds? Do me a favour, you're clueless. You work in an office and you spend all day long eating. You don't know what my job is. You've not got any idea. Shut your fat pie hole. All right? Anyway, she's threatened me with a verbal warning next time I go in like this. I don't care. I do not care. I'll be pre-prepared. What I'm going to do, I'm going to unwrap a load of Mars bars, pre-prepared, right? As soon as she opens that fat mouth of hers, I'll just lob a few of them in there. She'll be all like... <laughs> Won't be able to resist them. Gobble, 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 gobbling them down. And I'll just scarf her before she can give me the verbal warning. Don't care, right? I'm on a zero-hour contract. You barely pay me minimum wage. I don't do it for the money. I do it because I actually like the job. I just go work for another care agency. It's ridiculous. Honest to God, right? I've looked it up online, and apparently I've not got a leg to stand on. The employer can put any reasonable requests upon you in terms of grooming. Although there was one little shining light on there. Everyone's got to be treated equally. So she's going to make me shave. I'll make her shave because she's got fat, repulsive, thick, dark hairs worming their way out between the folds of fat upon her neck like dark, demented, interracial maggots. I'll make her shave if she makes me shave. Equals bloody peoples. Honest to God, it is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. And it's nothing to do with the fact that she's a woman before some idiot starts on with the sexism. I don't care. I honestly do not care about working underneath a woman. I'll be under, I'll be over them. I'm not fussy. I can't be, right? And it's nothing to do with the fact that she's dominant or powerful. You look at my Pornhub history, you see I quite like that kind of thing. But what I do have an issue with is some fat idiot getting involved in making my job more difficult when she knows absolutely nothing about it. Forcing me to shave. I don't consent. I don't consent. It's basically forced face rape. It's ridiculous. Just had enough. I don't care if I get sacked. In fact, I probably will get sacked if she ever sees this. In fact, I may as well go the whole hog. By the way, love, everyone in the whole office laughs at you. There is no substitute for showering. Liberally dousing yourself in cheap budget perfume does not cover the smell of your rancid, repulsive sweat. Dick it.